Hello everyone, this is Flop 86 once again. Welcome back to Lemmings Plus One. Now I finished the main levels, but uh, what I failed to realise was uh, there are actually seven levels which uh, Namida explains before each level why the level was removed from the main set. Um, I think this one is referring to the meaning of the universe, you know, 42. He's even got 42 minutes to do it. So I'm going to do these levels while I'm drinking my celebratory beer, like I said I was going to have. It's lucky I had one chill, to be honest. I think I only had one left in the fridge, and that was it. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty much explained there why it's removed, but I was right. 42nd level, it was just everything related to 42. Except, bizarrely enough, the fact that 6 times 9 does not equal 42, which is bizarre. You had to save 42% to complete this level. Yeah, so this is a very, this is a very basic level, and uh, I want to take this vid. I want to use this video as an opportunity to discuss some things that uh, I want to. Well, I just want to clear some things up that have been going that have. Um, well, I just want to basically clear up some things that. Uh, well, I've been asked about during my Lemmings Plus One playthrough. Um, one thing I do I do is um, I only do live takes. I've never attempted the levels off the videos. So everything you've seen pretty much, with the exception of one video, where I had to edit it out because the commentary didn't record for some reason. I think that was uh, Psycho 5, 6, 5 through 7. But... Um, what I did was I only edited it down because it, I only edited it down because that was that was time that was spent on pause that was editing out so that's why it's cross fading a lot between the videos. But yeah, I ne I never attempt the levels off video. I want to keep them on video just so you get get as much of my thought process going through the levels as possible and. Um, Someone, some people have come forward and said that uh, actually explaining what I'm doing while I'm doing the levels is a big, big, the big, probably the, some of the biggest feedback that ever you can give a level creator. So for that reason, I'll, that's why I intend on continuing um, keeping the live takes in, and uh, I haven't done any live takes off camera, so this is. Um, just want to clear that up anyway and uh, I don't get much time to play unfortunately because I've got a very busy work schedule at the moment I don't work an amazing job but it's just uh, I'm doing five days five nights a week and I work night shifts which makes it even more hectic but to be honest I'm not really I'm, I'm somebody who's quite used to working night shifts so I mean, I even stay up at night just to play these level packs on my nights off. Um, my fiance is all right with that. She's been very supportive. <laughs> um, but for that reason, I only get to play Lemmings two days a week. So, and I work five nights in a row, and then I'll have two nights off. And this is like the first of my nights off. So, and I've managed to complete Psycho in that, to get from level twenty-three to Psycho thirty in that time. Right, anyway, I'll revisit that once we've looked at the next level. Take us all home. 80 lemmings, gonna save all of them. 9 minutes. Okay. <laughs> right, let's have a look at this a moment. It's not too, it's not too bad a level. Get plenty of time to do it. 
Hmm. Yeah, but you can you can go you can go under you can go underneath it. You can bash out the terrain from underneath it anyway. Right, anyway, now that we've got that going, um I was talking about my work schedule and um yeah and uh it's probably gonna be it's probably gonna be the norm while I'm uh it's probably going to be in the norm throughout the year that I'll probably be working, having a strenuous work schedule. So just be patient if I'm not, uh, if I'm like five, four or five days later, you know, I'm still on the same level. It's just, I just haven't had a chance to play, but, you know, I do like playing lemmings on my day off, days off. And um, and I know some people are really enjoying my, lem my lemmings plus one videos. <laughs> But yeah, I try and record as much as I can, you know, I don't, I like to do it at times where I'm not going to get disturbed as well, you know, I'm sure you don't want background noise of uh, my cat playing or something or, you know, my fiance watching TV, but anyway, yeah, I want to get all this out in earlier videos, but uh with it being psycho and everything, I thought it'd be best just to concentrate on the um, concentrate on the whole um, well, just concentrate on the levels in general, and not talk about other things. Because worst thing you can do is um, talk so much that you get distracted and you miss something, and then you have to do something over it. You have to do something over again because you weren't paying attention. So I felt that it would be better if I just did not. Uh, Oh crap. Speaking of which, I need to make sure that somebody's bashing to the right here because there's no builders to correct the problem. There we go, sorted. Yeah. And uh other things that I've uh, other things I want to put out there as well is just want some general opinions from people, whether I should as my next official playthrough of Lemmings, whether I should do the SNES, the Genesis, the Game Boy port, or just go and play Lemmings Paintball. <laughs> Hopefully this video gets out early enough to uh, affect that opinion anyway. <laughs> and trying to uh, I am trying to get the Le Lemmings plus one videos up as quickly as I can alright anyway on to level three the lonely pole this looks like um, all or nothing mm, medi 16 I would have much preferred this level probably, probably would have much preferred this to the original medi 16 because medi 16 was a very very hard level To be honest though, after seeing most of the levels in Psycho, I think Medi-16 was pretty simple compared to most of them. Okay then. I think there's a trick with this one. I think it basically just means that the lemmings will always come out facing the same direction each time. Hmm. Can't remember how to do. This. Can't remember. Can't think of a way out of how to do this one. Yeah, this is a bit of a thinker. This one is. Let's try the standard way of doing it. Sure, splat distance. Yeah, that's way splat distance. Pfft. 
Bloody hell. How are you supposed to do this one? Okay then. Okay. I can see what the lock base mean thing means. Yeah, I think that. Yeah, that's uh, that's quite simple once you get the hang of it. Don't even need any climbers or floaters for that. That just uh, that just complicates things. Okay, it's level four. Ghostly. Oh my god. Okay. God's sake, we pull the other one. I'm convinced that the exit's probably in one of these little gaps here. <sighs> that has not helped. Pressing the space bar is instant death, apparently. So going across the top is not the option, obviously. Oh, the exit was there, okay. I don't think it's possible to get to the gap above it. There wasn't enough builders. Ah. 
living a lie. Okay, I me remember this one. There was a psycho level called Perfection, I think. I think it was a psycho level. Okay, that's what I was thinking of. Danger 17, I remember the bliss level. I can't even remember I did Danger 19 to be honest. Pretty sure I have more, more than enough skills to do it though. Oops. There you go, that wasn't too bad. So I managed to save all five lemmings as well. Okay, on to level six. Phase rotation syndrome. Oh my word. <laughs> I think I know what's going to go happen here. I think you've got to do repetitive motion with blockers and uh, go do repetitive motion with blockers and uh, do kind of like that look. Except I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> Fuck off, I didn't click on that one. Again, how the hell was that clicking on you? There we go. Yeah, I can see how this I can see how this level can be annoying as hell. Especially since my game doesn't especially since it doesn't seem to want to lock onto the digger. Bugger off! That was locked onto the digger! <sighs> yeah, that was fuck. that was fucking stupid.
Yeah, the concept here is just pretty much uh, walk to the. I can imagine the level being not being very exciting to watch, to be honest, because. Uh, Just gonna make sure you don't. Uh, just gonna make sure you don't um, dig too deep. We did it a bit at the start there, but uh, getting the hang of it now. Yeah, I don't see myself doing this level, but so I'll just skip on to the next one. <laughs> Colburn, a classic version. 80 11, 64 to be saved. Uh, three minutes. This level wasn't actually removed from the pack, but rather it was modified to the point it almost felt like a completely different level, or at least like a repeat rather than the same one. Are you sure about that being easy in the media? Because it doesn't feel easier. Doesn't feel easier to me because the time is bloody ferocious as hell. Oops. I can't even remember how I did this level originally. Oh, seriously. I don't know what I'm thinking actually. I could just climb bombed, couldn't I? Look, I did this level not so long ago, so I do kind of remember the, the trick to it. I don't see how this level is easier at the moment.
hit the bloody space bar accidentally. Nope, still don't see how it's different. Don't see how it's different. Yeah, lost the lemming there. Oh, I can see, I can see the difference now, actually. There is no, there's no flamethrowers here. It took me a while to notice that, actually. I had to get there, had to get there in one builder. Will you piss off? There we go. Excuse me, why do you why are you carrying on? Bullshit that is. Let's see that again. Because that's bloody ridiculous, the way that basher just carries on. Ridiculous. I still don't see how this is easier. You get less builders on this version. The only thing, the only thing I can see is different is the. Uh, the only thing I can just see that's different is the um, lack of flamethrowers down here. Apart from that, you seem to get you seem to get less of everything. You don't even get enough bombers, in my opinion. Maybe I'm just solving the level wrong, but. I don't think this level's easier personally, I think it's tougher. Unless I'm overlooking something really obvious. Anyway. I'm going to uh, just finish off what I was going to say. A couple, couple of things I wanted to say. Um, Other projects after Lemmings Plus One. Um, I've had, uh, I've asked a few people about this and uh, put forward what I was going to do, which are Lemmings Reunion, Revenge of the Lemmings, Giga Lemmings, and the remaining Lemmings Plus packs, and uh, including Omega. Uh, I've had Jeff Lemmings suggested to me a pack called Sea Lemmings, so it reads as Clemmings. But the Lemmings is still capital L and it's lowercase c. I've got Doomsday Lemmings down, Moby Lems, Holiday Giga Lems, Diner Lems, which isn't out yet. And uh, I was also suggested to check out Lemmix levels by Bullet Rider and Insane Steve. So, yeah, lots going on. This is only my first level pack. It took me a while, but not many level packs are going to be 150 levels, to be honest. And as tough as Lemmings Plus One has been. <laughs> right. Um, I guess the only thing left to do now is just uh, thank the media for this awful, um, awesome. I think he said awful. Of course, it's been awful. Some of the other psycho levels were awful, but. <laughs> They were hard. <laughs> yeah, anyway. I want to thank Namida for this level pack and um, um, all the guys on IRC chat have been giving me support throughout this playthrough and also people have been commenting on my videos as they've been going up. Some people have been so keen to watch them that they've been reporting issues with the videos. <laughs> but I think it's because YouTube hasn't uploaded them properly when they come to watch them. YouTube should really uh, not say the videos are uploaded if there's issues, in my opinion. Um, yeah, just thanks a lot, everybody. And 
next level pack well haven't decided yet the favourite that I'm probably going to start next is Lemmings Reunion because after doing Lemmings Plus One, I feel like I feel like I'm I feel like I'm such a Rambo I can run for anything, including that hard level pack. But yeah, it's got some awesome music and also more awesome graphic sets, so I'm I'm really looking forward to starting that one now. Um. I'm sure you've noticed that I've also split my playlists into two as well. I've got two anniversary playlists now. The one that starts with C is going to be for the custom content, and it's got C in brackets. And there's one that start has got O in brackets, and that's going to be the ones for official games. So I've split it into custom and original, just so you know you go to the right playlist, whichever you want to see. Regarding the next official game I'm going to do, like I said, it's, going, it's torn between SNES, Genesis, Game Boy Lemming, ports of the original Lemmings, or I could do Pe Lemmings Paintball, which is a spin-off game, but still highly enjoyable. It's, it's, it's incredibly strategic for being a paintball game. So if you've never seen the game before, I highly recommend you check it out. You can quite easily get it. You can quite easily still pick it up for PC nowadays anyway, so you can even play it yourself if you don't want to watch me play it. <laughs> right, anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up now. Thanks a lot everybody, and um, I'll see you next time.